Okay, so here's the deal. It's me. I'm back. Um, I made a video the other day, and I meant to put it on, but it was sideways. It was all messed up, what have you. So, um, I don't know if y'all can see this. I went off raw. I've been off about about a year, not quite a year, not quite a year, and I have gained a bunch of weight. I've gained like 50 pounds, but today I'm restarting. Um, I've done a couple of green smoothies, um, not today, but the other day. Um, anyway, so I went to Walmart's this morning because... Um, you get to see my fabulous hair. I actually have hair now, y'all, under here, but I'm running with no air conditioning. Um, so my hair is just fly everywhere because I've got the windows down. And so I got that old-fashioned air conditioning. I know some of y'all remember the, you know, two, two windows down, 60 mile an hour hair. Yeah. Anyway, um, there is my food. And you can see back around my bed, I got water. I bought like six gallons. And I, so I got like eight gallons of distilled water in here. And I got a big old thing full of food. And I'm going to stop. I've got some friends who live in this area who grow watermelon cantaloupe. So I'm going to stop by there on my way north. And see if they have watermelon and cantaloupe yet. And if they do, I have cash to buy more. Um, but so this morning for breakfast, it's just cherries and I'm probably going to have a green smoothie for lunch. And cause I got this big old thing of cherries y'all. Um, it's like three pounds of cherries at Walmart for like six something, six dollars and something. And then also, I don't know if y'all, if, if they have it at your Walmart. I stopped at the Walmart in Paragool, Arkansas this morning. And I know many of you eat these dates, which are, you know, like pretty much my favorite store-bought dates. Um, and it, this, is just a tw this is just a 12 ounce package, so it's not a full pound. Um, but they're on clearance right now at Walmart for $4.15 each. So I bought like six of those um, because I'm going to be making some, um, putting them in some of my green smoothies. Anyway, um, but anyway, I got all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be making a slaw so that I can have a slaw, uh, um, a slaw for dinner, and um, I'll try to make a video on that. I don't know because I'm probably going to have to. I'm probably going to have to blend it in, take my blender in the truck stop and plug it in. So if you see some crazy woman in the truck stop with a Nutribullet RX, that's me. Say hi. Um, but uh, I'm hoping to get a uh, inverter, which will give me power into my truck. I'm hoping to get a pretty good size inverter pretty quick. Um, I think I know someone who's got one for sale. So that's about it. I mean, I got a bunch of fruit. You can see all my bananas. I actually got actual ripe bananas at Walmart. I don't know if you could see that when I did it, but let's see. See? Ripe, pretty, organic bananas. They were 78 cents a pound. Um, I don't always buy organic because can't afford it. But anyway, so... Um, got some coconut waters. When you buy the coconut waters, I don't know why, but for some reason at Walmart, where they were at in the um, produce section, was they were like $2.48. But where they were at with the rest of the coconut waters, they were $2 even. And this one is... Um, this one does not say that it's never from concentrate. Um, the other one said it's never from concentrate. But this one um, does not have 
added sugar and the other one does so I prefer to get my sugar naturally anyway so I'm gonna um, start working at it again and my mom is going to be doing it with me yay mom so um, she is getting out she got out of the hospital last night and she is at 345 pounds I think she said and so um, but she went back vegan because she had gotten off the vegan for a little while she went back vegan and in less than two months of being back on vegan diet she's back off of all of her diabetic medicine so hopefully she got some infections um, and um, bacteria in her blood so they're getting that cleared up but she's doing she's going to go back on the green smoothies and all that good stuff with me so we'll help motivate each other anyway so hi to everybody out there who's missed me sorry I haven't been doing videos but I will be doing them again um, I am on Instagram at raw trucker lady and so if you want to do a squat challenge like I did before on Instagram if you want to do that with me let me know you can put it here or just start following me on Instagram and let me know and I will I'm thinking about doing a squat challenge it's a 30 days well, I, um, it's a 30 day squat challenge so, and I will not lie to you, it is tough, tough, tough. Um, I actually um, didn't get all the way to the max amount of squats on the last one I did. But if you're going to do it with me, even if you don't get to the maximum amount of squats, try. But if you don't, then at that point, stop right there at that number and do that number for the rest of the challenge and then you can maybe up it a little bit again um, after you get used to that number so that it gets you up to the most you can do and it pushes you farther than you would have pushed yourself anyway I've got to get out and hook up to this trailer and I will see you all later this is the raw trucker lady and may you be blessed upon your path Bye.